september second saint stephen king of hungary geyza fourth duke of hungary was with his wife converted to the faith and saw in a vision the martyr saint stephen who told him that he should have a son who would perfect the work he had begun this son was born in the year nine seventy seven and received the name of stephen he was most carefully educated and succeeded his father at an early age at age twenty stephen married giselle sister of saint henry the second the future emperor of the holy roman german empire who became a great ally of saint stephen in spreading the catholic faith two years later in nine ninety seven stephen succeeded his father as the fourth duke of the mayagars to be named since that fierce marauding people from the east had settled along the danube borders as soon as stephen ascended to the throne many nobles who both feared the rules of stephen's new religion and wanted to keep the old pagan superstitions revolted against him they burned the fields killed catholic nobles faithful to stephen and raised a siege around the city of vesbrem stephen gathered his troops and with the help of his german allies marched against them under the banners of saint martin and saint george though inferior in number he defeated the rebels and killed their leader Capani. to thank god for the victory he built a monastery in honor of saint martin over the battlefield called holy hill he then sent to pope sylvester begging him to appoint bishops to the eleven sees he had endowed and to bestow on him for the greater success of his work the title of king pope sylvester the second wholeheartedly granted both wishes and sent stephen the crown that became the royal crown of hungary known as the crown of saint stephen he gave good laws and saw to their execution throughout his life we are told he had christ on his lips christ in his heart and christ in all that he did his only wars were wars of defense and he was always successful however god sent him many and painful trials his son and only heir emmerich died but he bore all with perfect submission to the will of god during his lifetime a quarrel then arose among the various nephews concerning the right of succession and some of them even took part in a conspiracy against his life st stephen always had a special devotion to our lady in a personal vow he placed his person and his kingdom under her protection when the hungarian people referred to the mother of god they did not call her mary but the great lady at the mere sound of these words they would bend their heads and knees the king saint had always asked our lady the favor to die on august fifteenth the day of her assumption into heaven his wish was granted before expiring he raised his eyes to heaven and said queen of heaven co-redeemer of the world it is to you as patroness that i deliver holy mother church in hungary with her bishops and clergy and the kingdom with its magnets and people after receiving the holy viaticum he delivered his soul to god on august fifteenth in the year ten thirty eight he was buried beside his son emmerich and both were canonized together in the year ten eighty three his feast is celebrated on september second but in hungary his chief festival is observed on august twentieth his incorrupt right hand is treasured as the most sacred relic in hungary